Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So in today's vlog, we are going to take a look at the stockings. So I am going to share with you what Nathan's getting, what my mom is getting, and what the kids are getting. And anything that's available, I will link it in the description below. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each person's at a time, one at a time. And I'm probably going to go to the closet and film because... I don't want anybody in the house hearing and my kids are home. So before we do that, let me give you a look at the gift closet, which now that the Christmas gifts are out, it looks pretty organized. So I'll share with you where everybody's stocking items are located. So that is the door to the bedroom. This is where I have been standing and this is the gift closet. That is the bathroom over here. So this is where all of the gifts throughout the year are saved. And y'all, I've got birthday presents in here already, Valentine's presents in here. So the gift closet looks a lot better now than it did the last time you saw it. So everything is organized out. Everybody has their own shelf or section, minus this bottom area down here. That's some things that I got in and some Halloween things. Yes, I said Halloween. Birthday things and all that. So once the Christmas stuff gets shifted out, that will move up here to the shelves. So we've got Nathan's, my mom's, Kate's shelf, Derek's shelf. So let's go ahead and we're going to start the whole thing with Nathan's. So I'm going to grab Nathan's basket up here, go to the closet and share with you everything that he is getting in his stocking. Okay. So here's the thing. When you film in the closet, the lighting is horrible. So the sound is good, or I'm hoping the sound is good, but the lighting sucks. So it looks like I've got bags under my eyes and all of that because I'm not bringing my big lights in here. The space is just not big enough. So bear with me. I wanted to tell you something about Nathan's stocking. Here's the thing. I went overboard. Did I mean to? No. Some of the items in his stocking were supposed to be for Father's Day and my sister had this better idea for Father's Day and I already bought all these items so I thought okay I'll make that part of his stocking. Well then I just kept buying other stuff from that point on. So I'm seriously standing in TJ Maxx and I'm telling myself no more you cannot buy anything else for Nathan's stocking. Like with socks in my hands going this is going to be the last thing. I promise this is going to be the last thing. And Kate finally said, Mom, I don't think you need to buy anything else. So I just wanted to share that before you see what I've got for his stocking. Okay, so I got the basket over here. I'm just going to pull things out. So the first thing, socks. Y'all know I like to give socks and underwear and stockings. Always socks and underwear. Normally socks and underwear. I don't know if, the, yes, Derek has underwear. Kate does not. She's getting to the age where we're going to have to pick out hers together and I'm not going to be able to just kind of guess what she wants but we're not to theirs yet we're to Nathan's so socks these are so soft I've never even heard of this brand before I saw it at TJ Maxx sock letics they are performance low-cut socks my husband is picky about socks well let's be honest everybody in my family is particular about socks so these are thin he likes the thin socks these are thin they're a 10 pack so i got black and i got white and y'all these were like three dollars do you see that three dollars and 99 cents at tj maxx so when i saw these i could not pass it up so i got him a set of black and a set of white you can always find amazing deals in tj maxx Okay, next thing. I'll share what's behind me. This. My husband, if you did not know this, is a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. We are we are Chiefs fans in this household. He has been a diehard fan since he was very little. My son is named after a player, Derek Thomas, that passed away in 2000, I think it was. So, I got him a Kansas City Chiefs checkers game. I mean, look how cute that is. Look at all the little helmets. So, I can't remember where I got this. I'm going to link as much as I can in the description. And here's the thing. If you're not a Chiefs fan, 
probably they have this same checkers game in every different NFL team. So I will link it in the description below if I can figure out where I got it. This is one of those items I've had for a very long time. Next item is a puzzle. Now, we put together the Notre Dame puzzle that my mom got Nathan for Christmas. I think it was last year, and he's got it in his classroom. Well, I was going to get him a Chiefs one during quarantine, and they didn't have it. So then later on, I found it, and I got it. I think I got this on Amazon. So it is Arrowhead Stadium. Then you can see this is like a Chiefs-themed um, stocking, to be honest. Patrick Mahomes. I got him the one last year. Okay, it's not on here. I got him the very first Patrick Mahomes. He, I don't know if he, I don't think he has a helmet on. So they came out with this one this year and I pre-ordered him. Patrick Mahomes 2. So I have one. One is sitting in his classroom. So he's going to have two as well. So this is one of the items that was going to be for Father's Day. And it's a set of two. You can see the yellow one sitting over there. We won the Super Bowl this year. The Kansas City Chiefs did. So I bought him a matching mug set. You know, we're huge coffee drinkers here. I want to say this came off of the NFL shop or the Kansas City shop, I think. And this is a metal plate here. Here, it's metal. And it's not going to film good because it's, you know, metal and it's shiny. But that is one. And it came as a set of two. This is glass or ceramic I guess you'd say and then this is the yellow one and of course it's not wanting to film very well but those are the two mugs okay next thing so if you've been part of this community for any length of time you might know this but my daughter's nickname is boo boo so my husband and my daughter have this thing where he calls Kate boo boo and then my daughter calls him kitty so if you've seen the movie Monsters Inc Sully and Boo are pretty close, and so it's kind of like a little thing between Kate and Nathan. So Kate saw this on Shop Disney and wanted to get it for him. It is the Sully Wishables. So it's still in the plastic, so in that sweet. My husband has several of these in his classroom. So this one came out this year. This is the wool blended NFL banner for the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. So there is the record down there with the 49ers, and it is embroidered. So Derek has several of these in his room, and then Nathan has a few at school. I think he's got Kansas City. I just think our like regular Kansas City one and a Notre Dame one. So I want him to have one that was for the Super Bowl. See, look at that. It's got the shiny fabric. So I think that was awesome. I've had this probably since spring, you guys. All right, so I got him this, and it's still wrapped up. I'm not going to take it out yet. So every year at the beginning of football season, the Chiefs have a Ronald McDonald fundraiser to where they sell these flags, and then I think they're like $5, and all the proceeds go to the Ronald McDonald house. So I got him the one this year, and this is what it looks like, I think. It says Champions, Super Bowl Champions, KC. So I got him last year's as well. And then there's one other thing that I forgot. And he does have one other thing because you know I like to put snacks in the stockings. So his last thing I just ordered the other day so it's not in. I got him a gigantic tub of banana Laffy Taffy. And it seems like me and Nathan are the only two in the family that like banana Laffy Taffy. So I want to know, that's going to be the common question for today. Do you like banana Laffy Taffy? Do you like Laffy Taffy at all? What is your favorite? Let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below because I think we are the only two that I've ever ran into that actually like it. So let's get a conversation going about that in the comments below. I know it's random, but I just really want to know. So my next stocking is my mom's and you might wonder why I get my mom a stocking and that is because we are at my mom's Christmas Eve night we stay there my sister's family does too as well and when we wake up Christmas morning everybody has stockings but my mom so I've always taken care of my mom's stocking even when my stepdad was alive I did take care of it he would buy everything, but I would pick everything out, and he would just give me the money for it. So I don't want to wake up at 
my mom's house on Christmas morning and her to not have a stocking and everybody else does. So my sister and I now go in together and purchase my mom's stocking for her. So I've got a whole basket full of goodies for her that I'm going to share with you now. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's see if this works. It keeps wanting to focus on the floor and not what I'm sharing with you. So, last year I got my mom this set from Target and she loved it. This is the Love Beauty and Planet. This is the volumizing shampoo conditioner and then this is dry shampoo. And I got this one off Amazon because I was placing an order anyway, so I just went ahead and saw, looked to see if they had it and they did. So I ordered it. So this is the first thing that's going in her stocking. Then let's talk about the candy because it's right here. She loves Dove chocolate. So I got her a thing of Dove milk chocolate. And then she made this statement at Thanksgiving that she loved the soft peppermints. Well, I was walking through Walmart two days ago getting some groceries and they had a whole end cap full of these. So I put one in my basket. It was $5. So that's the candy she's getting. Peppermints and Dove chocolate. Now this I'm not going to take out. I would just pop in a picture of it. So she made a statement. We decided to get, instead of a bunch of little things for my mom's stocking, we decided to get her the things that we had heard that she really wanted. So she said she wanted a cup phone. This is by WeatherTech. So it goes in the little cup holder in your car and it ha it's for your cell phone so your cell phone sits in this little slot and it's so you don't have to be grabbing it and it can just be right there for you so that is what we got her here so that that did cost a nice amount of money but we wanted to get her something nice that she really wanted instead of a bunch of little small things that she may not want okay I've had this since this summer my mom is a huge fan of these this is the Vera Bradley clear lotion bag she has the same one that she's used for years they discontinued it and then we noticed a few months ago that they brought it back so i made the statement to her that oh i saw one in the vera bradley outlet but i wasn't going to get it because i didn't like the print and she was like well you should have told me i would have i did not care what the print looked like i would have taken it so i saw this when they opened up the vera bradley outlet they had these and i thought this one was cute so i got it for her it's really neat like it is tall enough to carry your regular size shampoos and things in it very neat and I like that it's wipeable on the inside and last but not least I think if you watched my gift guide video if you've not seen my gift guide I'll link it in a card above I mentioned that I was getting my mom this for Christmas so this is the Sani clip so I shared the lippy clip and this is the Sani clip during that gift guide video so this hand sanitizer fits in this Sani clip if you want to see how it works I do have that little I gave you a little peek on how that works during that gift guide. So these, I bought two of these for my mom. I told you the Mrs. Myers Basil is my favorite. I found these at Target. So I got her two of these and the Leopard Sani Clip for her stocking. And those are the last set of things. So I got her two hand sanitizers, the Sani Clip, the shampoo and conditioner set, the Vera Bradley clear lotion bag, the peppermints, the chocolate, and then the cup phone. So I'm going to share these big things first, get those put back in the closet, and then share the smaller ones. So the first two things are games. So we got her categories. I love categories. It is my favorite board game. And then the Stitch Lilo and Stitch Monopoly game. So just like I said earlier, if there's anything that I can find, I will link it below. Hopefully this is available most places now. So the first two things she's getting are plushes. This is Boo. And this is Scrump. So I got both of these on Shop Disney. And y'all, I've had these since probably the summer or spring. So how cute is that? I've never seen a Boo plush on Shop Disney or Scrump. So I got both of these on Shop Disney. And I cannot wait for her to open them. I think they are so cute. Okay, I'm going to share the candy next. Um, Mini Fruit by the Foot. She likes Jolly Ranchers, so I got her Jolly Rancher candy canes. Two ring pops. And she also got a set of the Dove chocolates. Then she is getting the Lilo and Stitch scrunchies. These came from 
box lunch, I think, is where I got those. I think I'm giving her this pen. That I think I actually ordered Derek and Kate an extra pen for their advent calendar by accident. So this also came from box lunch. A lot of the stuff I got came from box lunch. So a stitch with the ducklings and a book. Then we got her a stitch Funko. This is stitch with the ducks and this came from box lunch. Y'all have had this for a long time. And that's what he looks like. Oh, I want the scrump. I think scrump is expensive. We've got the, she's got the Lilo. She has a stitch. I don't know if it's that one. But I want to say the scrump is the one that is really hard to find and he is expensive. Or she's expensive. Is it a girl? I guess it's a girl. It's got a pink bow. Stitch house shoes. She does have a pair of these now, but I wanted to buy her new pair. A Stitch and Angel Zoom Zoom set. How cute is this? Got the little handle. I got this on Shop Disney. How cute is that? They got their little grass skirts on too. Then over here, I have two of these because Shop Disney sent these to me broken twice, but the spoon is broken the cup is not so i'm just going to give her the cup not the spoon see this is the thing shop disney's shipping sucks look at that this is how they ship this nothing inside of it so of course the spoon broke so she's got two of these how cute is that and then the other side says trouble maker and then look it's got the little scrump on the side isn't that cute so two of those and then look here's the top i mean they ship this with no packaging no no bubble wrap no nothing so their quality control really needs to be evaluated and then last but not least they are getting the two stories that we read on christmas eve so this will be for their collection so when they leave the house they have their books to read to their kids so this is what she's getting in her stocking. And let me just note that for the kids, Santa does help with the stockings. He does the stockings and all that. I just kind of, we work together on it. So she's getting the books. The, oh. okay, so she's getting the books. The Black Widow Funko. The Stitch Funko. Scrump, Boo, the Stitch and Angel Zoom Zooms, the Scrunchies, the Slippers, the Candy, and then the Mugs. So that is what Kate's, oh, and the pin, and the pin. So that is what Kate is getting in her stocking. And last but not least, we have Derek's. So I'm going to go through the things that were just sitting on the shelf first so I can get those put back in the closet. So he is getting a Captain America Funko. Okay, I might be sorry for this. And Santa might be sorry for this, but he is getting a 3,000 piece Marvel puzzle. Do you see all that red in there? It's going to be a doozy. Let's just say that. Maybe I need to film some of it. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. This looks so amazing i think santa is getting my nephew one of these too i think this is the monopoly avengers game look i mean it's super heavy it is super nice look at all the characters they're metal figurines isn't that neat i just thought that was the neatest thing so that and then last but not least, he is getting, I got this from Shop Disney. Then last but not least, he is getting a Baymax mug. Is this not the cutest thing? So they had several of these on Shop Disney. I actually let him pick it out. I didn't make it sound like he was going to get it. But he picked that one out. So that is the one that Santa and I got. Okay, I guess I'm going through the candy first because it's on top. Sour Patch Candy Canes. And here was the odd thing that I found about this. But it, maybe there's the same amount. Maybe the box on the other one's just bigger. Because this was the same price as the Jolly Ranger ones. But it's smaller. Maybe it's got the same amount. But it's just a smaller box. I'm not sure. 
He is also getting the chocolate, the ring pops, and the fruit by the foot. Then he has got the Hawkeye Funko. Oh, he's huge. I can't I'm have struggling. The Thanos Funko. He is huge, you guys. I think he's one of the bigger ones. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, that's kind of what he looks like on the back. So he's probably going to be one of the biggest ones that he has. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there he is. That's what he looks like. So I want to say I got this from Box Lunch. I told you all I got a lot from Box Lunch. The Star-Lord action figure. He loves these. He has like almost all of the action figures like this that you can get. Some of them are super hard to find though. Like Falcon is hard to find. Loki. And then he is getting underwear. Sonic the Hedgehog. And... Flash. And then he is getting the two books that we read on Christmas Eve. So he's got underwear, the books, the two action figures, the Thanos Funko, candy, the Hawkeye Funko. Then he's got the Avengers Monopoly game, the Baymax mug, the Captain America Funko, and then the huge 3000 piece Marvel puzzle. So that is the last for the stockings. That is what Derek is getting in his stocking this year. So those are the Christmas stockings for 2020. Remember, anything that is available, I will leave it linked in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. So let me add as well that I'm hoping to share my stocking on Christmas morning. That's hopefully going to be part of my last Vlogmas video for this year. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping I can make it work. I need to run that by my family first to make sure they're okay with me filming that morning. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of our community here. And then jump on over to Facebook and become a part of the Golden Circle there where we have a positive community. And it's a way for me and you to communicate on a more personal level. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Advent Calendar opening for Vlogmas Day 5. Advent calendar opening day five. I thought Bella was going to participate, but I don't guess she wants to. I guess she changed her mind. Okay, hold on. Okay, sit down. Okay, here we go. Derek first. And there, look, Armani once again thinks we're doing something real big. Did y'all know that y'all are matching today? What matching? Y'all got the same color on today. I don't know. You are struggling again. Now, there. <gasps> Let's go. Who is it? It's a rocket. Rocket. It's rocket. Okay. Okay. Do you love stitch? Armani's acting like you got food. Look at him. The donut. Stitch Donut. Do you know these are huge? Maybe I'll get another good one. I don't see it. Five. I'm gonna definitely get this one next year too. Okay. The strawberry. Yes. Spread. Another berry. Star strawberry verbena. I think that's how you pronounce it. Lord, I don't know. Strawberry Verbena. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Okay, Advent Calendar Day 6. It's lovely. It's Who's going first? Me. Okay, Derek said he's going first. Do you need scissors? 
you always say that? Because you always do. <gasps> oh, the Avenger. Who is it? It's Thor. Struggling with focusing. So Derek got Thor today. I think he's got two others of snack? these already. That's so you've gotten three of that six set. So she's actually got three different ones. I, she's got five of these boxes, I think. So and she's got three different ones so far. Oh, here it is. Yep, so she's gotten the hula stitch, Elvis stitch, and then skeleton stitch. Oh, and Kate, you got the chaser. I didn't know that. The Elvis stitch is a chaser pin, which means there's not as many of those. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks. A sweet orange passion fruit spread. Oh, I bet I might try that today. So the raspberry was good and the strawberry was good. I haven't tried the mango yet. This is, my camera is struggling focusing. Sweet orange and passion fruit. Advent calendar day seven. It's a zoom zoom. <laughs> Sissy's first, she said she got a zoom zoom. Hopefully if it is, it's a stitch. It's, I don't even know what that is. Oh my, that's the, Old school Mickey. <clears throat> yeah, that's like really old Mickey. Okay, I'm that, that's a traitor. Next. So you've gotten three of those, right? And those are all traitors. Well, at least you're getting traitors for next year. And Derek's struggling again. Oh, okay, yeah. <gasps> There's Derek's traitor. The chef from Ratatouille. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so Derek's got a trader. Well, it'll be for our Disney trip for next year. Yeah. My camera does not even want to focus on it, so I don't guess my camera likes it either. There we go. So the chef from Ratatouille. Gonna be one of Derek's traders. I don't like it. Okay, it's gonna be a trader, and then for me. Pineapple passion fruit spray. Mm. I don't have high hopes for this one. <laughs> we will see. I'm not a big pineapple fan. I, I love pineapple. I don't know if I will like it as a spread. I will tell you. So this is a pineapple passion fruit spread. I'll report back. So that is Advent Calendar Day 7. And here's Armani thinking he missed something again. Tell him bye, Armani. See you tomorrow.